Hey guys, I am no, actually, dare no sleeves. And this is my first episode of Inside NHL Esports, a series that I will be running, giving you all the insider info, all the tips, all of the info, all of the dates, prizes, everything that you need to know in regards to NHL 20 Esports for this season. Now, a ton has happened since the launch of the game back in September, and I'm going to recap everything that's been announced, all of the few events that have already taken place, and what's coming up in the next little while, what to watch for. I'm going to put all of the links for all of these events down below if you want to follow them, but the best place to follow all of this stuff is always going to be A, on my channel, or B, on my Twitter, at no sleeves Gaming, where I tweeted all the information in real time, so if you ever want to know instantly, that's where. Now, the one thing I do realize is that if you don't use Twitter, you're probably going to be left in the dust when it comes to all of this information when, when it comes to tournaments. The NHL isn't the best so far at marketing or informing everyone of these events, so um, just need to give you a heads up that Twitter is the best, and if you don't use it, Stick right here on my channel, and I'll be giving you all of the information that you need throughout the year when it comes to NHL esports. So let's kick things off with way back on September 13th, getting our first bit of NHL 20 esports news by our boy Arda Ocal. Arda Ocal, the broadcaster and play by play guy for the last two Gaming World Championships did announce that the NHL Gaming World Championship will return for a third season. Sources have told ESPN location, tournament, format, and prizing details are to be determined. However, Hockey Ultimate Team will once again be the mode of play. Competitors will use their hut teams in some fashion. So much like last year, it looks like you're going to qualify using hut. Now, a lot of guys did know that, but again, just wanted to recap things that have gone on since the launch of the game and the NHL GWC being announced that it is hut early on is what we all asked for last year and we've got our confirmation already. So on to our first big team-based esports event. So following up on a successful first season, the Leafs Gaming League is already underway with Season 2, with the first land qualifier already being decided, but still plenty of time for you to qualify for the finals. Prizing for this one is a first place $10,000 grand prize, a Leafs Gaming League jacket, and a 1 million scene points, which is actually a very, very good prize. Second place, $2,500. Third and fourth will take home $1,250. 5th through 8th, $750, and 9th through 16th will get $250. That's right. 1st through 16th will qualify for the final LAN. How you actually get into one of those spots is detailed down below. So if you haven't already been in the tournament on Xbox and on PlayStation, how it is working is there was an online ladder that ran multiple nights a week where you would play someone at random when you queued up from October 13th to November 3rd. If you were in the top 16 for each console, you were then invited to the Leafs Gaming League Online LAN. There's three of them, and that first one is taking place this Saturday, November 9th, where at these LANs, if you do win your first game and come within the first, you know, if you as long as you win game number one where you're in the top 16, you will earn points. 17 through 32 will earn nothing. So as you earn points for these events, that is how you get into the top 16 for the finals that takes place on February 1st in 2020. So I would say that you probably don't have any more time after this next qualify. You need to start grinding it when the next ladder opens up. The, the second ladder for the Leafs Gaming League will start on November 11th. <clears throat> which is this Monday, and it will run till December 1st. So you need to be playing games whenever they are available. And again, dates and whatnot are on the Leafs Gaming League page, which I will link down below. From a, As a competitor standpoint, I actually did compete in the first one. The first land qualifier did place in the top 16th for PlayStation and will be attending this Saturday. However, it's going to work a little bit different as I've actually been brought on to the broadcast for this event. So I will be helping with the broadcast in regards to the Leaf Gaming League, something I'm super stoked to be on board with and see if we can't give you guys the best broadcast possible for the event. Just a highlight down below here. Each online stage, it'll run for three weeks. Like I said, number one is already done. Uh, that's how the queue time, 
the queue will open 11 times each stage. So basically what happens is on a Wednesday night or Monday night on the 11th, it'll open from 4 p.m. until midnight. You have until that time frame to play your games that night, and then it shuts down. This isn't a play 24 24 hours whenever you want. Um, You have to play within those time frames each night, and that is how you earn points as long as you qualify. It is a it is a ELO system, meaning that uh, you beat someone who's much better or higher rated than you in as, tar- as far as points go. You will earn a ton. They will lose a ton. If you beat someone who's much lower rated than you, you will earn very little as far as points for each win. So the top 100 earn L leaves Gaming League points on each console, and the top 16 qualify for each land. That's for each of the online sections. So like I said, number one is already done. Number two is going to start on the 11th. So the LGL on LAN is a group stage with blended consoles, so all 32 will play on one console. And the top two from each group, so you'll be split up in groups, will advance 16 players total. And then they'll go into a single elimination bracket in the top 16. We'll earn additional LGL points. Again, Those tops. that's how you place in the top 16 for the finals. And then obviously the finals on February 1st will be very big. Uh, the top 16 will qualify based on LGL points. It's going to be live streamed on Twitch. There's an after party and players and whatnot. Yes, at a Leafs game. So again, great event. I was at last year's event and it looks like this year is going to be run a lot Better as far as how it's actually organized and whatnot, the one downfall is that it's only open to Greater Toronto Area participants, so if you are outside of the Toronto Area, I believe it's 127 kilometers, unfortunately you can't qualify, which does limit the you know the talent that's going to be involved, so if you don't think you're confident because you can't take on all the pros, just remember that it isn't open to everyone if you're in the area, you 100% should be trying for this event. Off the top of my head... When it comes to pro players, there are players that have the best shot at winning. Obviously, there's Lazarus, is Josh Fearless, who did very well at the GWC this year and was a Canadian qualifier. There's also Sitful, another Canadian qualifier for the GWC last year. Odie qualified for the GWC in 2018, among some others. But after that, it is a wide open stage, and you never know uh, when it comes to this format as to how you do. So you should definitely check that out if you are in the Greater Toronto area. The next esports event that was announced again on a much smaller stage would be the london knights chill challenge run by we got game and it was a 3v3 event which is taking place on november 17th again i will be there and a part of it at the london knights game on the 17th to determine the finalists and whatnot the qualifiers have already been done so you can't sign up and qualify for this one it is for a 1500 dollar grand prize Now, it is run from PS4 and Xbox, so there was two different system qualifiers. And uh, as far as players to watch out for that are in this one, Odie, again, another top player from the Versus and Hut side, will be representing his team there as well, as well as up-and-comer Geimer, who has been kind of making a name for himself early on this season in NHL esports. He did qualify for this event as well, along with his buddy Lander, and they will be representing themselves at the London Chill Challenge on November 17th. Again, you can check that out on my Twitter feed. I will be doing a broadcast for that event from London, and I'm actually kind of stoked about it. I did do a play-by-play commentary for the qualifiers for it, and it was actually a lot more fun um, than anticipated. When it comes to esports, 3v3 isn't really known, especially considering it's it's AI goaltenders, Um, but nonetheless, I had a good time with it, and uh, I think it's going to be exciting um, considering the players that some of the players that are involved in it. And today we also got news of the Minnesota Wild hopping on board as far as an esports event, announcing their first one for this season. It was uh, met with some kind of some criticism as it was another region-based event. Um, basically, it is only open to Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, North Dakota, and South Dakota for this specific event. The details are as follows: It's the State of Hockey Pro Am presented by Jack Link's Jerky. Gotta say, Jack Lynx is absolutely fire. But essentially, the uh, registration opens already in November 4th. Registration ends on November 16th. And then this tournament will begin on November 17th if you are in the area and able to qualify. 100% recommend doing so. Again, there isn't a lot of top-tier talent from Minnesota. Off the top of my head, Kanger, uh, the U.S. qualifier from the GWC in 2018, is 
expected to be the favorite, but there are others like community member Vikes, who I do know is from Minnesota as well in that area. So again, guys, with when there isn't a ton of pro pairs involved, these events are perfect because if you're a fan of the Wild and whatnot, this is a great chance to get involved with that team as well. So the tournament is on November 17th. Um, the details, again, are as follows. It's a double elimination best of one, meaning that you will at least get one loss. You can lose once um, before you're eliminated from the event, so there will be a loser's bracket, and you run right through that. The a championship grand prize that was announced is you play live against a Minnesota Wild player in NHL 20. There's six tickets to the Minnesota Wild versus the Dallas Stars. $500 Hockey Lodge gift card, a Minnesota Wild jersey, and a Jack Links prize pack with second place receiving to play live against a Minnesota Wild player in NHL 20. Two tickets to the Wild and Stars, the Minnesota Wild jersey, and the Jack Links prize pack. Again, it is region-based, and that game is uh, on December 1st. 2019 so again uh not super involving of uh, the entire community but another region-based event that at least has been announced and showing that at least the teams are getting involved somewhat and lastly as far as esports events um uh, are and lastly as far as esports events are concerned one I was actually brought on to do with gamer saloon that i've had a lot of fun doing i put together this event to try and give people a viewing experience of watching the top players in North America as well as give them you know a way to practice and whatnot to come up with these events uh, throughout the year and early on to kind of get kick things off this year and it's gone really well so far so it is the Gamer Saloon Elite 8 and the premise is basically this back in September what we did was we selected the eight top players in North America and throughout the eight weeks the people that finished in the bottom of each division it was a round robin two divisions each week of eight players Players that finished last in each division were knocked out, and the only way you could get back in was an open online qualifier that ran every Tuesday night. That is now finished. Um, the last one was completed. So the last uh, Elite Eight before the finals, um, where there will be a $500 grand prize, that one uh, that that has taken place. So just to show you guys what's going on, we've got, um, as far as before this week's events, is Dare Regs, Nuke, Canadians, Dare Gren taking up the top four. The top four will get a buy in the first round, followed by Hockey Kings, Mivians, Junior Pens, Kesso, Geimer, Nuge, Daddy Padre, and Josh Fearless make up the top 12 right now. This is again before last week and this week's standing so those are subject to change but again it's been a really really fun event to do and if you ever want to catch it just be sure to follow me on Twitter or on Twitch um, where I stream and play by play all of these events. Again these ones take place Monday at 9 30 Eastern time on my Twitch channel. Again link will be down in the bottom below but I am looking to potentially brought, or bring this to the EU to just to uh, see if we can't do an Elite Eight for the Europeans. Um, but again, that's uh, preliminary discussions to see if that is, uh, that is possible. And lastly, I guess the last big piece of esports news so far that we got to talk about is Dare Rising, one of the bigger esports organizations, did sign three of the top NHL players for their NHL esports team going into this year. Again, it is the first org to kind of jump in and do anything as far as signing players this season. Um, just to be a part of the announcement, I am involved in the team from the, com uh, the content side, along with Bones, How to Chell, and Nuge. But then there's also, we did sign Nuke, Regs, and Young Grand, three of the best Canadians in the game. So I'm super excited to be involved in that and the, uh, the announcement video did do great. I'm super excited to be with them and see what the boys can do going into NHL 20's you know, bigger esports scene as more and more teams on, um, announce events and whatnot and then eventually um, concluding with uh, the NHL Gaming World Championship. So uh, super stoked to announce that. I expect there's probably going to be another big signing when it comes to teams. But again, I'll let you guys know how that is um, in the next video or whenever it happens. This is going to do it for episode one of Inside NHL Esports with myself, Dare No Sleeves. If you have any questions in regards to any of the esports events or what's upcoming, 
Please let me know in the comments section down below. If you're not interested in NHL esports, I totally understand. But if you want to get involved, this is a great time to do so. All of the events and links will be down in the description. So if you ever want any information in regards to it, please just let me know. As well as check me out on Twitter at No Sleeves Gaming. I'll be posting any information I get real time in regards to events there. That'll be the fastest way to get info. And again, any questions in regards to any of the events, please let me know. And I'll be happy to help you out and bring. I just want to try and uh, grow NHL esports as much as, as best I possibly can, as I do think it's a great way to grow the game. And I hope it's going to be a good year. So, guys, thank you for watching Inside NHL Esports. I'll see you guys next time.